so you might have some banana but overripe or it might be some planting but guess what you don't need to dash them away get me all right so here are today we'll make some planting or you know banana fritters whichever you want to call it some of some overripe banana or some cinnamon yeah I have um, black pepper, can put black pepper in it, of course. Look at vanilla, um, salt, flour, and um, nothing in the thing there, but you have some sugar. Yeah. So you have a banana. First thing you want to do, you want to peel it, of course, because you know, I use the skin. So you make sure say, you peel all of them. The next step is really to, you know, get everything cut up and, um, you know, mash out. So you can get in flour, mix up and thing, yeah. So you basically go use whatever you have, but the aim is you want the banana to crush out and um you want it to smooth so at least when the flour put in and other ingredients you can um flag it out and make nice fritters. So these steps might be slightly different from how you might do it, but um you can add the flour to the banana or you can add the banana last, right? So I had my flour, put a little salt and salt to taste. Some people might not like salt in terms of them not use much. And um, salt is really good for you. So use as little as possible, but you want the food to taste good. You don't want it too fresh, right? After the salt, you want to add a little cinnamon. You don't want to spice it up a little bit. So I get in my cinnamon. And again, it's the taste. I don't think too much cinnamon now, keep it still, but yeah, you don't want too much put some vanilla and uh, you can use whatever vanilla you have in terms of you have the white vanilla you have the color one here so you want to use like a cockful or a teaspoonful that should be the same amount and you know get that stuff ready you can get the black pepper and you can um, after they can cut up your skelly and you can get up your onion and all of that kind of stuff there where well, I mean I have none so I just use some sugar right about now and it's optional as well you don't have to use sugar but the sugar get a little more taste. Remember, the banana ripe, you know, so the banana will have a sweetish kind of taste. So, you know, want to kill it with sugar. As we say, you don't have to use none. So, it's called my mix it up, add some water, and um, you don't know if it has make. You go, you know, you, you know, cementing go. You throw water on the cement and just uh, mix it up, yeah, man, something like that. Or how you do cake. <laughs> Cut and full. But the point is, you want to mix up everything together. So once you use everything nice enough, you can um, get it ready. See there? You want this to look like it nice enough. I'm can't show another part. So next step is you'll get your aisle. Throw in on the pot. And you have to ensure that the aisle is hot. Because if the aisle is hot, you don't know say the fritters are gonna suck up all of the aisle. Yeah man, so get enough oil in there. You don't want too much, I don't want too, too little. Get the right amount and get it well hot and you throw in your, your butter All right so fritters one day and this i mean it's a good amount of banana although the banana them small still now but this can make up probably about um even a dozen and a half there about depending on the type the size spoon they use yeah but you see me there fritters then gone right in yeah man i want to say it smell good is a shame but if it, boy, i might tell so youtube you so can say no smell <laughs> all right so Watch it, watch it, fit as in a car, guess what? It's come like a plant in a man. The flame can't too high. Because as you turn your back, you know what go am. Then burn up, yeah. So this should, this is nice enough. And see there? Done. Not, not, not time at all. This can be in with a lot of stuff. Yes, I saw Sistrina and Bridget. Thank you for watching. And guess what? Kindly remember to like. And if you're not subscribed, it just, you know, just do that thing there subscribe and kindly share thank you very much love and respect